the office is more humbly than any other title that could be added to his name. So God calls me Cameron because I'm his son. But hear me, the reason why the Lord talked to me about this is because he wanted me to help you to understand that he's the one that selected you. That's what I want you to see. I love you. Those of you that serve in ministry, those of you that serve in leadership, hear me. Don't you chase after nothing that you have not been cultivated for. Because the reality is it comes with great bruises and pain that is not pretty. Do you, you want to have what the person has, but have you paid what they paid for it? My God, you've got to understand it's not glorious. There are days when you feel lonely. You can be married, yes, I said it, and still feel by yourself. It's not that there's anything wrong with your marriage. There's not anything wrong with your spouse. But you can still feel by yourself. Because when the social part of you wants to hang out, God calls you into a separate place and says, I need you to get on your face. You don't get the luxury of doing what everybody else does because I need you set aside for me. Yeah, it's a real thing. Oh, but the Lord says the principle in it is that I chose you. You didn't call yourself to preach. I called you. You didn't call yourself to do what you do in the kingdom. I called you. The anointing is not what you selected, Tisha. The anointing sought you out as David. David did not seek out the anointing. The oil only flowed when it came in David's presence. Sometimes you're wondering why won't God anoint certain people? Why isn't the oil flowing? Could it be? It's not for that individual. You wonder why some people will do all of this energy. They will exert all of this energy in ministry and not a single soul got delivered. Nobody got a breakthrough. Why ain't the oil flowing? Could it be that the anointing ain't for that person or the anointing is not at all that kind of anointing and even designed for that person? You see, you have to understand the anointing is for the assignment and then there's an anointing for that person to carry that assignment. Let me say it again. The oil was for David and the oil was for the assignment. There is an anointing for the assignment already set but then God has to anoint a person for that assignment Yeah. so there is a pastoral anointing for those that are pastors there's an intercessor anointing for those that are intercessors there's an anointing on there's a deacon's anointing for those that who serve as a deacon but then not only that but God gives an anointing for that person to execute that assignment that's why David had actually, when you study scriptures, more than just the anointing we saw in 1 Samuel 16. There were several anointings that David actually received before he stepped into his role as a king. Because God doesn't just have an anointing for the assignment. There's an anointing for the person to carry the assignment. So it's not that you ain't even been called to be an intercessor. There's an anointing for that. But have you received the anointing from God? That's required for you to be what he's called you to be. Because if you ain't got the anointing that God wants you to have, you'll serve in the right office. But you'll be trying to execute the office like somebody else. You'll try to intercede like somebody else did it. You'll try to preach like somebody else. You'll try to sing like somebody else. You'll try to be a deacon like somebody else. Because you have not received the anointing that God has for you concerning that assignment. That's why you need to just have, have somebody encourage them and say, don't move too soon. Yeah, to send the word, don't move too soon. God has a set time for you. You will get there. You will get where God wants you to be. So just stay where you are until it's the right time. Somebody put a praise on it right now.